do you want to see how I go from this to this, creating a uniqueness in my hair? I love the highlight streaks. Well, today I'll be using these products, and I have to say I'm a loyal fan of Cream of Nature, Box Hair Dye. Or do I tend to switch between the Honey Blonde, the Light Golden Blonde, and the Ginger Blonde, depending on my mood, and just to add highlights? These little bottles, I don't know what, well, I can't remember what they are, but I'll be using only three, and you will see me prepare the hair dye. According to the instructions um, that are in the box, I'm just unboxing it now to show you what's in the box, what you get. Um, and then you get a developer with that. And I think the last thing, which is this nifty little thing. Now you have a couple of them. I find them difficult to open. Now my hair is dry and tangled here. I haven't washed in a couple of weeks, but I decided it's the new year. Why not just add a bit of highlight to it? Yes, I can see it's dry, matted and tangled, but we're going to work with it. So um, I went to check. Would I like to dye the hair dry or wet? Because it's matted, I, didn't, I needed a bit of movement. So I decided I would go and wash my hair first. And I checked on Google that it was fine. You'll see me insert that into the video. It is fine to actually dye your hair wet because it... Um, it allows the color to get in there properly and i'm not sure if it has to do with vibrancy or anything like that but you can definitely dye your hair wet and it, as you can see the, be the one below is um from cold friends or cold centric i can't remember so there's me washing my hair before i then just proceed to go and dye it i will leave you with the video to keep watching my results at the end If you're on Instagram, please go follow this creator. I'm going to insert a clip here. She shares amazing, invaluable tips on how Is that you to want to be able to say something? Hey, did we actually get all the shed hair out? Okay. And if you don't get all the shed hair out of your hair, it makes your hair um, more matted at the roots. And oh. matted roots make your hair appear shorter. Right. So you know right. how I was kind of like smoothing it all in yeah. first? Do that at home too. Okay. Take the section that you're planning on working with and smooth it until it feels organized. Meaning that smooth it until all the hair feels like it's going in the same direction. Mm -hmm. Until it doesn't feel like, because usually when you're smoothing, you can feel a little roughness in the right. middle. Yeah. And then make sure you're moving your hands around. So don't just smooth in one area. 